In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pray today for the repose of the soul of Lloyd Oscar Smith, Jr. May Almighty God welcome him in heaven. As we prepare to celebrate the holy mystery, let's first acknowledge our mistakes, our faults, our sins. You Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may ascend without us stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is in their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved, the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To the tribes, go up to the tribes of the Lord. Let us go. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. 
Let us. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke, glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, a rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do now that my master is taking the position steward of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first, he said, how much do you owe my master? He replied, 100 measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for 450. Then to another he said, and you, how much do you owe? He replied, 100 measures of wheat. He said to him, here is your promissory note, write one for 80. And the master commanded that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters, my brothers, in my vision, in your vision, the master should immediately remove that dishonest steward. But he would decide without compassion. And that's why the master took time to be focused, to be focused on what the steward was thinking in his mind. Through what he was saying, the master discovered how smart is this steward, although dishonest. The master then commended the steward 
for acting prudently. Jesus concludes his speech to his disciples by saying to them and to us today that the children of, of darkness are more prudent than the children of the light. My sisters, my brothers, following the dishonest but smart steward who knows how to wrongly set things in order to be welcomed when the master will remove him from the job. We Christians, we are called to be smart. We are called to be prudent in the right way in order to get the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of justice. May the light of Christ shine on us to always do good and to whisper people, whoever they are, and to be honest toward them. God bless you all. Trusting in God, whose love is beyond our understanding, let's offer our prayers today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon his every need and continue to prosper him in holiness. Let's pray to the Lord. For all entrusted with leadership, may the Spirit give them every good gift to fulfill their responsibilities with integrity. Let's pray to the Lord. For the unemployed, may God lead them to gain full employment. Let's pray to the Lord. For this community of faith, may God continue to help us grow in love for one another. Let's pray to the Lord. For all who have died, in a special way, for Lloyd Oscar Smith Jr., may they be lovingly welcomed as a citizen of heaven. Let's pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, your grace is sufficient for us. Please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the present glory of his name, for all good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O oh Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as, and with joy we proclaim. are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with your life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your disciples, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. Let's share together the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let's pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by this heavenly sacrament, we may be prepared for your, by your gift for receiving what they promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord will be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is indeed go in peace and serve the Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who probably bow the world, seeking the wound of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day.
from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom we will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our mighty spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, our mighty spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even 
to the end of time. 